Hello, in this video I'm gonna share with you a powerful meditation for this crisis. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bless you. Bless your journey right now. Everything is what it needs to be for you to wake up, to really rise to the occasion. It is about you returning to your heart. This is a moment where we are getting so outside, bombarded with this fear that the only way out is within. The only way out is within yourself, your heart is the calling right now the home staying in the home being in the heart so i um got some information all right so some of the information that is out there about the aspect of the corona coming to to kind of like because corona means head um actually that's not the approach that i want to take don't worry about it what we are going to do is to I'm going to share with you this meditation and I am going to do it with you a little bit and the calling is just about us to hold the vision, alright? So the vision is not a vision of the mind, it's a vision of the heart, it's, it's a known vision vision, alright? So it's not like you're going to see a vision, it's a frequency of well-being that is only residing inside of you. This chaos is an opportunity for us to really create and build a connection with our essence, with the soul and the source inside of us, because nothing is bigger than that. One person in connection is more powerful than 7 billion and 700 million people. Who you are is ready to be revealed here. This is your purpose. If you chose to be in the dimension, the third dimension at this time, is because you too have this desire to awake. And this is a moment where we really can change the, the movement of conscious from within. Not because we are going to manipulate the conscious that is in place, but because every single one of us knows the resolution of all of this program inside of us. We all have the answer within ourselves as a collaborative conscious. Our soul is predominant in its awareness of the totality of all and how everything is divine. And from going into this place, which is this place, it is a physical projection of attention from the head into the heart. From the head into the heart. As long as you're focusing on the heart, you become subjective to this massive like horror movie that is occurring. If you go into your heart, you're gonna hear the answer. You're gonna hear the answer. And to be honest with you, the answer is getting really cloud, like really loud and clear now because the heart is becoming more, you know, more available. All right, so you can awaken one side of an equation without awakening the other side you can't you know it's this mathematic of the universe you know as soon as the the problem is there a solution gets to be awakened but what happens is our mind from the perspective of observation is not up to date to the potentiality of what can be awoken we are in a place where we are just re digesting or re-eating or you know looping what we have seen and has been written in historic books and stuff like that so right now as an individual your purpose your intention can be of great service to the collective because as you move into your heart you are going to be of great service to the essence waking up inside of you all of the conspiracy theory, all of the ideas of this not being good for you is all placement and creating more fear. What you are is beyond fear, beyond fear. So let's go with this. Right now, the meditation is quite simple. 
but it is complex because it takes a replacement, a retuning. So the, the, the meditation is, as a totality, a very simple energy meditation. It's a breath connective, the connectiveness with the in, in drying, like driving, in driving and out expanding, in driving and out expanding. Let me move a bit further out. So the movement is in the heart, all right? So as the breath, the breath has to become truly feminine. So all of the breath techniques that are there, please forgive me as I do not hold to you guys at this time. I never really done too many of them, but one of the aspects of this important step of this meditation is that the, the breath needs to be feminine. And what is a feminine breath? The feminine breath is the same amount of inhale same amount of, um, of air, same amount of time, same amount of space within the breath. The breath in and breath out as moving in balance as natural as it can. It's not about control, it's not about thinking that you have to do it right, but you are going to know when you are in balance because even one breath will take you out of the illusion. Like one proper breath will create space between you and all of that is being projected right now, okay? So as that breath goes in and out, the same way all of your energy is gonna go in and out. There is a few steps that you can do. So you have a, a pranic tube, which is a connective channel between the top of your body to the bottom of your body. And they breathe in unison. Right now it's a bit of my, it might be out of whack, but you can synchronize the breath to coming in from prana and, and in from Gaia. So this is going into the heart. into the heart and then you have the heart movement which is a an horizontal conscious as the 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 heart move inwards on your on your energetic field it brings everything in and filters everything with the heart and emanates out love, real love, not conditional love, not everything needs to be good love, bullshit, in unconditional love, unconditional love. When you are able to do some of this practice, you can combine all of it, and it should be just an in, in movement into the heart and an out movement into the energetic field, your personal energetic field. You are really taking ownership of everything that is coming into your energetic field, putting in your heart and allowing it to wash with love, all right? So the purpose of this meditation, it is incredible. I had downloaded this meditation in the beginning of this year and every time that I practice, I put my alarm on for, t for an hour, for 30 minutes, and I stand up in full realization after 11 minutes. And it has been just incredible. When you're walking out that there, it's especially important because you have to take your home with you. It's about really moving all into the heart and being so in your heart that you allow the mind to just observe softly whatever is happening so you're not getting too entertained or engaged with the collective mass. You're just allowing it to pass and then you're filtering everything with love in your heart. This is not a mental practice. It is a physical practice. You not to think of this process, but to be in the process within the breath, within the movement and allow it to come and expand. We are in this moment where, as I said, the chaos is creating enough energetic momentum for us to go into whatever stories we wanted to collapse. However, 
one person in their connection with source is more powerful than seven billion and seven hundred million and less the ones that have navigated out of the planet right now we are in this place where we have a purpose to connect with our soul to recognize what the soul is ready to collapse as miracle reality miracle reality this is a powerful process practice let's practice together wherever we are wherever we going allow yourself to have breaks of collective conscious and meditate on this and then every time that you are watching the news breathe that into your heart and ask your heart what is the answer for this what is the answer for me who am i in this what am i doing here what kind of solution did i come to bring here who am i who i came here to be and that is from your heart ask your heart that don't ask your mind that your mind is going to be your enemy at this stage ask your heart that this is a question without an expectation of an answer that is a standing still with the feeling as you start letting the gap between what your mind is trying to say to your stability and stillness and then your heart start emanating the truth the truth is this is a magical moment where miracles are at bay they are at bay for us everything can really move so fast more than we can even imagine source is on this we are on this we all agree to be in this planet at this time and we are not here to repeat history we are not here in the necessity of going for months and months in depression because being at home doesn't necessarily need to be in depression you can recreate yourself you can really build yourself into the truth of your heart with that i said bless you i love you stay in your heart bless you